Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of FTL Advanced Edition. We are on board the Lanius Cruiser Type A with Nicole, Kyle, John, Jason, Mike, and Frederick the Zoltan. However, before we move on, I'm going to go ahead and rename Frederick here to my good buddy, Austin. Austin the Zoltan. Ha ha ha. There's so much sexual energy emanating from him that he's powering the ship! Oh. Alright, uh, actually I did want to try a little bit of an experiment here. Um, I'm gonna open the door to the weapons room over here, and I'm gonna close the secure, uh, the door room to see how much oxygen we can get away with, because I want to actually have, um, our crew man that system. Somebody has mentioned that I can man the sensors and door room and very observant eyes. I've been pretty stuck in the ways. I didn't even notice that these two could be manned, but apparently when you man them now, that room uh, gets an extra upgrade level if they were up as if the system was actually upgraded. However, when the crew in there is busy with something like putting out a fire or fighting intruders, uh, then the system will revert back to the way it was before they man it again. So we're gonna have Mike take care of security on this ship and it looks like we're stable at 16% that's fine. So Mike you run over there. There you go. And you only took a little bit of damage you should be able to fully heal with our next jump. Uh, we are moving on to the next sector. We are choosing between the Uncharted Nebula and the Rebel Stronghold and you guys have been voting. And I have taken it to a consideration. It was a close tie this time, but you guys voted for the Uncharted Nebula. Again. <laughs> uh, I feel like I shouldn't have said anything about me hating Nebulas, otherwise you guys would have kept voting for it. Okay, but as much as I would like to see some new stuff, I'm gonna go with the Nebula because you guys want me to go there. I do need to look for a better weapon. I mean, these are good, but I need better. Nebulas were always dangerous places. Many electronics fail in these clouds. You will have to tread lightly. Indeed we will. Also, I've uh, disabled my hotkey so I don't accidentally skip over stuff like that because I use my hotkeys for my weapons. So that would be nice for me. I'm going to power my mind control. Actually, should I? Nah, I'll leave it in mind control for now. There's a distress beacon here. Let's go. And it's not in a nebula, so I already like it. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board and its communication seems to be down. Prepare to board and investigate! The ship is completely abandoned. There is no trace of the crew or any cargo. Mystified, you leave the ghost ship and continues on. Ah, Nothing. I was hoping for something. Maybe drone parts. Alright, let's see. Exits all the way down here. We could this seems to be the shortest path, but I want to make as many jumps as I can while avoiding ion storms. Let's go up. Alright. Spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off the radar. Try to, try to engage? Well, let's see. They have a missile, chain burst laser, free shields. Hmm, I would have to use my hacking. Prepare, let's prepare to chase them. You follow their vapor trails and surf onto their 6 o'clock weapons hot. Alright, let's continue. They got, wow, they got a lot of drones. Okay. What we would do is we will hack their shields so we can prepare our attack. So we'll hack them. I might power up my battery for extra power, depending on the situation. Oh, they took over our mind control. I was actually going to use that. Well, it's okay. We'll wait for a bit. Give ourselves a chance to charge our weapons. I'm going to use my batteries in a bit as well, but I got to wait for my mind control. And they hit us right in the engines. Okay. A few more seconds. Because I want to get the shields down enough so I can actually use my weapons. My mind control, and I want to damage the shields at the same time from the inside, so I'm just going to have to tank the damage. Uh, let's see. Oh, they hacked us again. Oh, well, that's not even fair. How am I supposed to fight against this? And, of course, they hit me. I might end up just leaving. That was a waste of a drone part. 
or, or I could just stick out the attack, drain their shields, knock it out with my lasers, and then hit them with a bile beam. Yeah, I'll do that. Hit them! And you miss. John, you are horrible. Why do you do this? Those missiles are the worst part. They keep hitting me. Oh my god. This is not good. First fight. And <laughs> we're having a rough time. Okay, we're getting out of here. See, this is why I hate Nebulas. I run into stuff like these. Uh, a heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Let's try to follow them. Your search is hopeless. Your sensors can't pick up anything in the nebula. Another reason why the nebulas are horrible. Alright, everybody's a little worse for wear. We're not doing too good on fuel or drones. We need to find better weapons. We need to find scrap to upgrade our weapons. Hmm. Well, if I... I think I need... How much do I need? 75 for my next weapon upgrade to get my ion stunner back online. At the very least, I can knock out free, free shield ships. Provided my ion stunner hits their shield and the chain lasers bring it down enough. If I run into four shields, I'm going to have to make use of sh my hack. Which is going to be a limited option now that I'm down to five drones. A pirate ship arrived shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from the beacons. Let's attack the pirate. Okay, two shields, but they have a crap ton of weapons. And a bunch of slugs and a mantis. Alright, you power up your weapons and move in to engage. Alright, let's see. What do we do? What do we do? Actually, let's mind control the mantis. Aha! No weapon officer for you. Fight your crew. Now we can bring down their shields, so that is nice. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and cut across the ship. There we go. Slug down. Yeah! Jason wouldn't approve, but oh well. This is for our survival. I mean, look at their weapons. Jeez, that's a lot. And I don't... I should have gone with the pike beam, looking back. But I can't really pass up on a bio beam. It's an extremely deadly weapon. Oh, they have a cloning bay. I completely forgot about that. And my shots are continuously missing, which sucks. That that cloning bay is going to be a real issue for me later. I'm going to mind control their mantis again. Come on, John. You got to hit something here. Oh, John, why do you always miss that one shot? There we go. Take those out. You know, I can't really do much. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna have to end up using a hack. Because they keep cloning, and I won't be able to get through that. I'm going for their shield so I can take down their cloning bay. Hey, a green slug. Alright, let's go ahead and drain the shields. We are gonna go after their cloning bay to keep them from cloning again. Actually, no, I should take out their shields, first and foremost. Alright, that's damaged it. We're gonna go after their crew. And their shields are back online, so it doesn't make any sense to attack. We'll hold off on our fire and wait for the next one. We'll mind control the slug. Oh wait, my, uh, slugs can't be mind controlled. We'll control their mantis again. We'll fire our weapons. Cut across, kill the slugs. Alright, that should keep them busy for now. Take some power out of our, actually put that back into the engines. That was way too close and they managed to get a shot off. I am not even paying attention to my hull. We are close to death here. Not good. Yeah. We're gonna go conventional. It's not working out for me. It really isn't. Uh, we really need some hull repairs too. Once again, we're going to hack their shields. We're going to take down their weapons, actually. And, okay, that's at least we hit. Fire our stunner. Stunner missed, unfortunate. Come on, come on. Fire those shots. Fire all weapons. Take down their weapons. Alright, took down their beam. 
As long as their shots don't sync up. Okay, that was a misfire. We'll drain their shields. And fire at their weapons. Alright, that brings down yet more systems. I mean, weapons, I should say. This is going to be a long, drawn-out fight. I should really pay attention to my haul. Otherwise, this is going to be a very short episode. Alright, I don't think they'll be able to get through just yet. Their weapons are completely off sync right now. Alright, hack their shields, and f fire on their weapons. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. I can't have that. You are not allowed to. Mantis, go stop them. Alright, let's attack them again. We'll go for their helm next. There we go. They hail you. We realize our ship is no match for you. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. They're offering us free scrap, one drone, and 20 fuel. I mean, well, wow, way to read. Free fuel, one drone, and 20 scrap. Well, I do need fuel. I'm running low on drones. Not a good amount of scrap. But considering how bad the fight went for me, I'm going to ignore their please. So we're going to hit them again. And then attack them one more time. There we go. The ship's cargo was not salvageable. However, they seem to have been surveying the region. They possess detailed maps and data. You download what you can to the ship's map. 40 scrap is our reward. Okay. Brings us closer to our weapon upgrade. I'm gonna have to st stay off the bio beam for a while, honestly. At least we have a map so we can now see if there's anything in the way. There is a... the rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula in the sector so it won't be as effective hiding spot. Okay, so we're not going there. Plenty of ships along the way. There's a store all the way up there. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I think the safest course, relatively, is here, here, then to the store and then head down. Yeah, I don't see any other way. I'm not going to risk going into an ion storm. Alright, they have a missile. Okay, we're going to attempt to remain hidden. We can't take that many hits. They do have two shields, yes, but... Uh, attempt to remain concealed. Ah, uh, they spot us. Dang it. Alright, so they doubled their speed there, which is unfortunate. Intruders on board! Oh! Hey, they're in a room that has no oxygen. Okay, let's close that door. Ah! Oh, I just realized that my oxygen went up to 31%. Okay, well that achievement is no longer possible. Whatever. And John is going down in there. So let's get him out. We're gonna mind control one of their... One of them. Gonna vet the oxygen one more time. Hopefully long enough. Okay, look. Yeah, they're all dying in there, but John's almost dead, so we'll have to get a couple more jumps in for him. Uh, let's head up here. We need to get to that store. Hopefully a better weapon. You feel naked without functioning sensors. You half expect a rebel ship to appear from behind a cloud at any moment, but none come. Alright, that's fine. We're heading to the store. This is gonna be a really... This was a really bad sector for me. You discover a cluster of... Ah, I couldn't read there. You discover a cluster of Federation refugee ships taking shelter in the folds of the nebula. I'm sorry we've got nothing to give you, but we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense they'll strike a trade. They're offering us crew, drones, and a heavy ion and a chain ion. That's an interesting weapon. It is a charge weapon, so you can build up your shots like the chain... Like other weapons I've seen. Heavy ion could be nice. Takes two power. Shouts per charge, stuns chance low, ion damage two. How much does Zara do? Ion damage one. We could run with that. We could. They're also off. Ah, uh, that cloaking. I really want a cloaking. Okay, we need the fuel. Uh, we'll get up to 15 hull. 
Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna keep the bio beam. Honestly, since we don't have a chance at that 20% achievement anymore, I don't think we'll need the emergency respirators. Should I? No, I'll hang on to it. It's not like I'm gonna buy anything here. Or maybe I will. Okay. 13 seconds of charge time. 10 seconds. That's slightly faster, plus it's with a chance of stun, but for lower ion damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip out on buying anything here. Okay, good. We can jump down here, so that's good. We can still move towards the exit, hopefully. If not, we are stuck. Nebulas are known to be popular Mantis hunting grounds, information you would have done well to heed here. It seems like this nebula is just a proverbial middle finger to me the whole game. Alright, they got a ton of bombs, that's a first laser mark, what is that, four I think? They got a teleporter. So they're gonna be boarding our ship, so let's go ahead and mind control one of their Mantises, keep them busy. They have three shields, which is annoying. So, what we'll do... Okay, only one Mantis is aboard our ship. Close that door. Slam it in his face. If he gets in, though, John's gonna have to get out of there. Oh, wait, I need to hack their shields. Uh, get in there. Alright. We are ready to hack. And now we... And now we attack their shields. Okay, good. There's a fire in there. Perfect. Oh, the shots. The damage. At least their shields are on fire. That's the best part about this. If we can take their shields down completely, it will be better. Oh, they got their shields back online. Slightly. And we will hit them in the weapons. We need to take off their burst laser. There we go. Not worried about repairs right now. We'll hack their systems again, and then we'll attack their weapons fully. Okay, only one of our shots made it through. We must have hit one of their... Oh! Oh, they ioned our weapons. The oh, cheeky bastards. Alright, well, I can't do much right now. Just have to ride out the ion. At least their shields are on fire. Can't do much about that. Right, so we're gonna stun them in the weapons, keep them from doing repairs. Can't hack their systems because it's damaged, but there's no more fire in there, but it is deoxidated. That Mantis is trying to move in to repair, which won't happen because he's horrible at repairs. I could potentially biobeam here, actually. I am going to try that. We're gonna power up the anti-bio. And let's see, what else do we want online? Well, nothing online, really. We could actually make use of this. Um, hmm, who should I send for repairs here? No, we need our dodge. Mike, you go get started on repairs. We don't need our doors at level 3 right now. Alright, they stunned us in the engines, which is not good. We're gonna hit them in the helm, eliminate their dodge. Oh, killed the mantis outright. Perfect. And then we slice this one to bits. With the crew dead, you are able to take fuel out of storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. 4 fuel and 52 scrap. Nice. We have enough for a upgrade. And why can't I jump? Oh, my engines are ioned. I was like sitting here. It's like, I don't have any damage. What's going on? Oh, oh good. He didn't leave the room completely. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's get out of here. I am just grateful to be out of that nebula. You arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Uh, 9 fuel for 1 drone. Uh, that's a good deal, but I need my drones. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't justify it. Alright, we can either go to rock controlled or civilian sector. Well, rock controlled. They have a lot of ships with missiles. I'm not equipped for that. Uh, let's go to the civilian sector. Hope we can find a store with some better weapons. Burst laser mark 2 maybe. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebel f can catch you. Alright. There's a store right there. Let's go check it out. 
Maybe some cheap repairs, a nice weapon. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Long range scanners, reconstructive teleport. Well, that would be useful if I had a teleporter. Alright, there's a flag 2 here, which is actually pretty good. It's a shield buster. How much power does it take? 3 power? Also 3 power, but it has 2 lasers, 15 second charge. I don't know, the flags have been really great, honestly. Hmm. At this point, we just need to work on our weapons. I can't afford not to get a better weapon. Let's see, that's two shot, two shot. This is a shield buster. Takes a little time or more time to charge up though. I wouldn't be able to power this up immediately either. Because I can only run up five. Actually, no, I could. I could. That's five power right there. What am I thinking? Yeah, we're gonna get it. What we'll do, we'll sell our bio beam and we'll sell our emergency re respirator. Buy the flak. And we can run the flak gun if we take this out. And we'll protect the flak gun charge time by putting it in first. If we get another one, we can potentially get the ion stunner up and running as well. There's a bunch of distress beacons over here that might be worth looking into. Uh, I'm gonna get some repairs from the store first. Moderate repairs here, so we'll get a few. Get us into the green at least, so I can feel a little comfortable. Feel a little comfortable here. All right. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTO navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Let's lead them to the destination and hope they don't backstab us. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. 24 scrap. Not bad. And it's all the way up there. I do have to go up there, actually, because the exit's near there. Uh, let's head to this distress beacon. Actually, can I make that jump? I don't know. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to loop around to the side. Let's hope I can make that jump. Alright. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently that are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Okay. This one would normally be better off if I had an improved med bay or a NG or a rock crew member, but I don't have any of those. The clone, the clone bay might help us here, however, I think I've seen a video where somebody did this and somebody got infected with the virus and the cloning bay couldn't help because they would be cloned with the virus. So I'm just gonna ignore the request. Unfortunate, you're, unfortunately, your mission is too important and you're not willing to risk your crew. Prepare to move on. I would love to help them. I really would. Alright, okay good, we can jump up there, so that's good. We'll jump over here. And to a sun! Perfect! This beacon has been placed too close to a super, super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sh sun, moves in to engage. Alright, they got a missile. I am worried. But we do have a flak gun. The flak gun is a little different because it aims for around an area and you can't accurately aim it. So we're gonna go for maximum impact of as many rooms, so that's the weapons, shields, oxygen, and the cloning bay. It's also a shield killer, so that will help us out. We're gonna take off the chain laser for now and power up our ion stunner, because ions do relatively better against Zoltan shields. Uh, we'll keep these rooms oxygen with oxygen for now actually i'll go ahead and empty it just to keep orders from going into those rooms i may need it oh, and it hits us in the weapons well, of course why am i not surprised all right at least they didn't take our flag down which is the good thing here all right zoltan shield is down let's go ahead and get our weapons back in order here comes a fire our engines have been hit there's fire in some of these rooms, put those out. Luckily, the lack of oxygen will help us out there. Come on, John, you gotta do better. Hits us in the cloning bay, that's fine. Alright, hits a lot of their systems, take a, takes that missile offline, that's the best part of this. Let's get our chain lasers on. As soon as the flak fires, we will fire on their weapons. I do like the flak gun. It is a great shield buster, if anything. 
Alright, now we have some of the weapons. Alright, please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. We can accept their offer of three missiles, one drone, and 26 scrap. Uh, I, if you had fuel, I would be more receptive of that offer. And we don't need the missiles. My god, I have 47 of those things. I've never had that many. <laughs> I need to sell my missiles. <laughs> yeah, they died from a fire, I think. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two fuel, one drone, and 45 scrap. A little better. Let's see. Let's get out of here. Can we jump here, here, and then to the quest. Should have fixed the cloning bay, to be honest. Okay, they don't have a shield. They have a missile that looks like a laser. They have mind control. Let's intervene to defend the outpost. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. And they have tried to mind control Kyle, but luckily for us, we also have a mind control. Oh, they have a bomb too. That's not good. Uh, let's see. We'll hit them here and chain laser them in the weapons. Now, I'm wondering where I should pull my power from. That's a two shot. We'll power up our battery. And we'll recontrol Kyle. And we'll put that into the hangar. Just just for fun. Not like we really need it. Alright. We won't be able to get our first shots off because their weapons have lower cooldown times than us. Luckily that missed. Their missile was about to fire. Luckily we took it offline, but we need to take that missile offline. Alright, we took everything but the missile, and they've controlled John this time, which is unfortunate, but I am going to recontrol him. Aha! And to keep you from using your controlling ways, I will destroy your mind control. My mind is stronger. And flak. Well, flak this. Haha! Two missiles, one drone, and 29 scrap. I don't want missiles! The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. One fuel, two missiles, and 42 scrap. I'm getting a ton of scrap, which I like. I do not like the amount of missiles I have and the lack of everything else. Uh, but we're doing better on the weapon. weapons for now. I think I made a good investment there. We're gonna power... Actually, no. I need my engines up. We need more dodge. Um, don't have enough for another bubble of shields. This could be nice. A 7 second disruption would be better. How much would I have? No, I wouldn't be able to have enough for another weapons to get our ion stun on. Actually, I could, because I just have to take the power out. Okay, we'll go with that. Even though there might be a store nearby, I need all the power I can get. Actually, that was all because they were in the shields. Dang. Um, oh, you two get over there. Start repairing the med bay. I mean, the cloning bay. Alright, there we go. We can run our systems now. No, no! Mike, get back! Don't run for the ox- Don't run for the lack of oxygen. I forgot. I need to save the new crew positions. Uh... They're getting pretty close. Let's jump here. I need to make up for that nebula. Amanda ship hails. Ah, fine prey, fine prey. We honor you with our most eviscerating arsenal. You sense a cloud to the silver lining and power the weapons. All right, that's a huge weapon there. They have a teleporter, two mantis, and an NG. There's a mini beam as well. All right, oh, I didn't notice that ion stunner. All right, that's not good. So what we would do is, this has the most impacting room here. We will focus on the shield room with our ion stunner and we will wait with our chain lasers. One mantis is coming aboard our ship, so we are going to instead get ready to mind control him. Aha! Destroy your teleporter. I'm, I'm surprised nobody else is going to stop him, but that's fine. And we missed our ion, unfortunate. Alright, he destroyed the teleporter, which is good, but the NG is going to repair it. There goes our flak. Now we will fire on their weapons with our chain lasers. A uh, chain burst laser. I keep mixing that up. Although I guess it doesn't matter. You get the same. It's the same effect. And they decide to send a NG over to do a work a mantis should be doing. 
All right, Kyle, you're just gonna have to stay in there for a bit. Get ready with another chain laser as our flak moves in to take down their shields, and does, don't have to because they are destroyed. Aha! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One deal, one missile, and 37 scrap. I don't want missiles. Give me an event where I can sell all my missiles. I could make so much scrap. All right, let's move on. We'll hold on to our current scrap. I could jump here and then here and then move on. Let's do that. Ah. Uh. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Well, let's use our hacking system to counter their remote hacking because we're not gonna use- Oh wow, that is a big missile. Um, this could be bad. They only have two crew members so I could mind control their mantis to kill a human maybe. That missile is gonna be the biggest trouble here. Well, we gotta do that. Your hacking system automatically counters the digital assault and you move in to fight the ship. Alright. Two shots, missiles. Take. Actually, I need that mind control. Oh, we can't mind control because they have a Zoltan shield up. Alright, well, we'll take that, put that there. We need all the dodge we can get. Alright, we're gonna flak them here. Fire there, actually fire here, and here. There we go. Do, 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 do. That missile scares me. So what I'm gonna do is whenever they fire a missile, I'm gonna take oxygen out, put that in my engines. Aha. Ah, oh, hits us in the sensors. And that was a heavy hit there. They got their shots really staggered nicely. We're gonna hit them in their weapons now. We need to take those missiles offline immediately. Aw oh, dang, they had the shields up. But we took down one missile at least for now. Oh, that missed. Thank you. Come on, Flack, we need you. We need these hits. Alright, take down their weapons. Alright, good. It took down the big missile. That's what I'm most worried about. They still have the little missile though, and it hits us right in the helm, which is bad for us. Uh, let's focus on their um, weapons room. All in on weapons. Alright, took down their main weaponry. That's good. Flax coming in to finish the job. With the pirate ship destroyed, your ship system is restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can from the debris. Free fuel, 52 scrap. Not bad. Alright, we do need to work on some repairs though, so John, you go down and move into sensors real quick. Actually, Kyle, you go help him. Alright, let's see. I would move Austin down into the sensors room, but there's no point. We might as well just keep him there powering up the systems. Alright, let's see. Everything else is fine, but we do need a store, which is right there, courteously. Uh, let's go to the quest and take a chance at this. Actually, before I do... Let's get another power bar, put that in our engines, we have 45 dodge, and we have the battery in case we need our other systems. Let's go to the quest. Alright, awesome, yay, and repairs. The ship you were escorting, thank you. I don't think we could have made it without your help. Let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you, our, show you their wares. Hey, a store, awesome. Med bay, oh. I would like a med bay though. I could replace it. They don't have any uh, anything else I want to use. I don't have a drone control. I could get one, but I would have to sell something. Uh, now, let's hold on to our scrap. We'll move to the other store, see what they have to offer. The space station here has a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Show me your wares! Alright, let's see. Drone control, med bay, cloaking, Borman and Mike Weston, shields, helms, and weapons. Moderate repairs. Lower amount of fuel, but I can but for the same price basically. Defense drone, that would be nice. I actually do like my current weapon setup, it's not too demanding of me. 
I would have liked these weapons a little bit earlier, though. Alright, we'll go for the repairs. So, we'll get up back to 20. Get all the fuel. Um, not gonna buy the drones. And what's left? We'll jump. We'll continue seeing what we can find. I can probably jump there. Let's see. One, two. I can make that, yeah. We'll go down here, here, and then to the exit. And it's an asteroid field. Perfect. And they have three shields, also have a flat gun, and a burst laser mark three, and what looks to be a basic laser pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Well, we can't have that happening. So what we would do, we'll activate that, turn on our mind control and our hacking. That's a human, that's Mantis. Let's mind control the Mantis, cause some trouble with him. Hack their weapons because I don't want these firing off. I want to have control over that. This has the most rooms co room coverage and we will save our chain lasers and we will attack them in the weapons. And I think my drone was destroyed. Yeah, it was. What a waste. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Nobody's even bothering with that mantis down there. Oh god, the hits. Alright, shields are down. Go after their weapons. Alright, we managed to hit once, but it didn't take out their more deadly weapons. Come on, Flack, we need you. There we go. Okay, you get a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. Except their offer of three missiles, one drone, and 29 scrap. I don't want missiles. Everybody's like, oh, if we throw our missiles at Lewis, then he will surely accept. No, I will not. Therefore, I will chain laser you in the face. Yeah, what do you say to that? You should have given me drones or fuel or something else. Anything but missiles at this point. Alright. Wait for another flak shot. And fire. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two fuel, two missiles, and 57 scrap. Better. Better. Alright, let's head up here and get on our way to the exit. Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Well, let's see. They have a hacking module. They do have a bomb. They have a beam drone. I don't think they have the capabilities of taking me out unless that's an ion bomb. Oh, they have two beam drones. That's not good. Uh, well, can't mind control anything. My hacking is still down. I should have repaired that. But I left in a hurry. Alright. And there's not much good room on for flat coverage here, so we'll just go for their drones and weapons. That's the most deadly here. We will stun their shields and try to take that down when the flat comes through. I feel like we're missing someone. No, everybody's here. They time their shots though. Those beam drones are gonna be hell on me. Alright, now we go for their shields. That is an ion bomb. We need to take that offline. If that hits us in the shields, we are going to be in for trouble. Flack, come on, save me. Alright, hit them in the weapons. And you miss. Alright, hits us in the mind control. That's no problem. I can deal with that. Come on. Come on. Hit them in the shields. There we go. Alright. Still have to worry about that ion bomb and our ion stunner hit that beam drone. I like how it's spinning about over there. Alright. There we go. Weapons are offline. We are safe for the time being. Now we will take out their... Well, one more shot and we should be able to destroy them outright. 
Ah, uh, well, hopefully the flag will finish the job. Nope. <laughs> Just a little bit off. Alright, so now we hit him. And we miss. Of course, John. I give you these nice weapons, and you miss. This is the respect I get. Alright, here comes another flag. Might as well fire. Shoot our garbage at them. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two fuel, two missiles, and 57 scrap. While I do like the better scrap amounts, I do not like the amount of missiles we have and the inability to sell them. Alright. We got one more jump to go. Let's fix our hacking module in case we need it. Let's see. Our dodge is doing okay. With Kyle on the engines, it is at 45. If we could get a cloaking... That would be great, because I would def definitely need that for the Rebel Flagship. You arrive at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A ship with a conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment for sale. Hail the ship, attack him before you attack, or quickly prepare to jump away. You know what, I fell for too many pirate traps, I'm attacking. Let's see, they have a teleporter. Let's go ahead and power our battery up. We will take control. I think that's an NG. So let's control that human. Human! And we will... Let's see, shields are over there, weapons are over there. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Well... Let's take out their weapons, that's the most deadliest thing here. And we will ion stun them in the shield, keep that NG on lockdown. Human is fighting for that. us, the NG is going to suffocate in there, which is good. By the time he breaks in though, Austin and Jason will just beat the crap out of him. And he left. Alright, here comes the flag. And that was a firebomb. Alright, we will hit them in their weapons. And they got their shields back online just in time. John put the fire out, that's good, but he took some damage in the case. We are now being boarded by two NG. Aha! Uh -huh. They managed to break through the door though, which is unfortunate because there is no oxygen in the room. Now there is a fire in there with Mike, which is bad. So we're gonna, Mike, you need to get out of there. Uh, get into the room with Nicole. Austin, no, you're dying! Uh, crap. Let the oxygen in. Mike, you move over here. Austin, you need to move as well. I gotta do so much micromanaging here. Oh. Not looking good for me here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a shot at their weapons again. And we miss our shots. Come on, John. Switch our stunner over to their weapons. Oh crap, I forgot. Jason's in there all alone. Close those doors. Okay, there's a fire in there with Kyle now, which is unfortunate. Kyle, we can't take too much damage with our crew since we don't have a med bay. So get Kyle out of there. Come on, Flack. Their weapons are tearing me apart here. There we go. Alright, Kyle, get back on the engines. Actually, you know what? Let's power up our mind control. This is getting annoying. We'll get that NG. NG, kill your other NG. Alright, looks like they are switching out of their bombs, which is good. I can't deal with too many fires. Alright. You have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Seven missiles, two drones, and 27 scrap. No, I do not accept. Alright, their weapons are completely offline though, so we are relatively safer. And just insult the injuries. Alright, everybody is dying over here. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One missile, one drone, and 53 scrap. Hmm. You know what, I am going to have to redo my layout here, 
I'm gonna close all doors, open all doors, let the oxygen flow, except for, actually, no. Uh, open all doors, except for the rooms that Kyle and John are in, because they're just gonna kill off the rest of the crew by doing that. Oxygen, breathe deep, everyone. Alright, Jason, head back to your station. I'm gonna move them individually just in case if they decide to run into the wrong rooms. Alright, Mike is working on repair. Let's go have Nicole join in. And work on our repairs. Do, 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 do. Alright, could use another helm upgrade in case they take it out. Yeah, we'll do that. Get a buffer bar for that. Um, not sure. 28%, that's 3% in difference. If we fully upgrade, it's 35, but that's going to take way too much scrap, and I just don't have that. I might end up saving for 4 shields. We'll get another power bar in case we need it. What we really need right now is a store and some heals. Alright, everybody back to their positions. Oh ho! Alright, let's save our positions. Close all doors. And we will vent out the necessary rooms in preparation for borders. And we'll keep them out of these rooms over here. Actually... I'm gonna keep the hacking room uh, with oxygen. We'll keep these rooms clear so that they have somewhere to run and breathe. Alright, let's head to the next sector. Wow, what a choice! We get to choose between a civilian sector and nothing else! Alright, uh, there's no point in really asking you guys to vote on this one since there's only one way for me to go, and I might finish this in the next episode anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump there and then end off the episode. Alright, welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels can catch up. Well... There's a lot of stuff here, there's a distress beacon there, but we'll, we'll save this for the next time. So for the next time on FTL Advanced Edition, we will continue on through the civilian sector and head to the last stand. That's it for episode 3 with the Lanius Cruiser Type A. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!